Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here for Honey Bee Stamps over on their channel today. And today I am gonna show you how to make probably the manliest card I've ever made. And it's gonna be this lovely, sir. Check that out. Ooh, super shiny. These are products used from their latest release, Adventure Awaits. Uh, there will be links down in the description so you can go check all of that out. So uh, make sure that you leave some comments down in down you know down in the comment section to let me know what you think about the card. Make sure that you check me out over on my YouTube channel by searching for Bromero Cards. Subscribe, like, share, all that great stuff. Click the bell and do the same thing here for Honey Bee Stamps. So let's go ahead and get started making this card. Okay, to get started here, we are going to be using the Sweet Stacks Oval dies. We're going to be using the wood grain embossing folder, the lovely layer lures, which are awesome. We're going to be using the hooked on you stamp and the coordinating dice set that comes with that. We're also going to be using some various cardstocks here. I have like an eggplant color mirror cardstock and white, and we're going to be using the adventure awaits paper pack. And this is going to be the piece we're going to be using. Like that's totally beautiful. You guys. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the background done. And basically what I'm going to do is place the gold pigment ink here from Honeybee Stamps onto the embossing folder. I'm going to cover this all up to make sure it's nice and covered. And then I'm going to take this eggplant colored cardstock, place it in the embossing folder and run it through the die cutting machine. Once it's out, Look at all this beautiful glory here. It's shiny. Um, all the gold is on the raised part of the um, embossed piece of paper here, which is fantastic. We're going to be using the lovely layer lures here. We're going to be using the biggest lure. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is cut out some pieces out of this background and make it into the lure. This is going to be covered up by something else, so no one's going to be able to see that I've done this. And it just saves paper and you don't have to like do a whole new process just to get this uh, layer out. So we will run that through the die cutting machine and we'll get back and we'll go ahead and remove that piece. And this is more of like, I guess you would say in quotation marks, masculine card um, because I'm using more masculine colors, but you could totally make this feminine by using more quotation marks, feminine colors. Now what I'm going to do is cut out the belly of the lure. I, I keep wanting to say I keep wanting to say fish, um, which I mean I guess it's a fish, but come on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is cut out the next piece of this card. Um, as you can see, I did an oval to the right here, and it was too small, so I needed to do a bigger one. So I just went up size. Well, I went up a size on the oval so that it could be a bit bigger for the card. It just looked a little weird being so small. Next, I'm gonna take a piece of this eggplant colored cardstock again. I think this is Gina K eggplant. And we will, um, I'm gonna cut out a shadow uh, for this oval that's on the card. And I'm just gonna use the, uh, the eggplant here to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and get that taped down and we will run it through the die cutting machine as we always do um, to go ahead and get that cut out so that we can make a border for this uh, round piece of, or this oval uh, piece of paper or oval pattern paper on the wood grain paper that I made. So there we go, I'm just making sure that it looks good, it matches up and it's like perfect. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna glue the lure together, I'm just, placing some honeybee stamps liquid glue uh, behind uh, the top of the fish here and we'll go ahead and get that lined up. There we go, it's all nice and shiny. You know, lures um, from when I was a kid, I remember them being like super shiny and colorful and all that great stuff. So um, I did use the light brown um, rhinestone from the Adventure Weights rhinestone set to make an eye for this. You know, because it just needed a little bit more touch of fancy, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to take this liquid glue and we will go ahead and place this down onto the shadow 
of uh, this eggplant cardstock. Uh, the eggplant it comes from the pattern paper. There's um, some purple trees in there that I thought related really well. Um, I decided to do the little feather and hook alongside with this lure. I originally did not do this as a part of my plan, but I wanted to just add a little bit something else to this. So I'm just getting all the pieces that are required to um, get this put together. And I'm going to make some hooks here and they're going to be made from gold mirror cardstock, which I think look really cool. Um, I'm going to put, uh, put the pieces together here um, to make, I don't even know what this is called. Like, is it a sinker? I don't know what that is. But um, I'm going to layer that up together. I'm getting the hook lined in there and then placing the top piece so that it is um, in the whatever this thing is. Right, y'all, I don't know the name. <laughs> Okay, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and get the sentiment started here. Um, I'm just gonna pull that out. It's gonna be a happy Father's Day card. Um, Father's Day is coming up and I don't have a lot of them made yet. So um, yeah, I'm just trying to decide what I wanna do here. I did eventually go with happy Father's Day. I'm gonna get my acrylic block. And what we will do is we will take some um, embossing ink here get this all good and uncovered with embossing ink and i'm going to stamp this down um don't stamp too hard this is a sentiment and it can like kind of like bulge out when you do it so just kind of do it soft and then just hold your uh stamp onto the paper so that the um, ink sticks to the paper I'm just taking a brush here and I'm taking off all the little pieces um, from the uh, paper. And then I'm just going to pour all this back in there. I hate embossing powder. I hate the feel of it, the touch. I'm like, oh, no, I don't want it on my desk. So I try to clean it up as soon as possible. We are going to do some heat, heat embossing here to go ahead and get that done and woo, look how pretty that gold is i love it and you guys you know i love 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 honeybee stamps matching dies for sentiments it is the best thing seriously ever i really could not live without these they just cut these out so good so much better than what any other like any kind of fussy cutting you could do ever all right, so now what we're doing is we're gonna glue the oval onto the uh, main piece here. And I kind of feel like maybe I should have done um, foam tape, but it's fine, it'll, it'll, it'll all work out here. Okay, now I'm putting some foam tape behind the sentiment, I'm putting some foam tape behind this fly fish hook thing, whatever it's called putting some on behind the feather and then also behind the actual body of the lure. And now we're going to start placing the pieces onto the card. I'm kind of, I want to, you know, kind of see what this is going to look like before I finalize any type of um, situation here, because I don't want to have to rip any paper or anything like that. So we will place the feather on first. And then we will take the hook along with the whatever that thing's called, the sinker, and we will place that down onto the card. And then we will take the lure, we will peel the backing off of that, and we will place that down onto the card also. So this next part, I was trying to decide where the sentiment should go. So I was going back and forth. So you guys tell me where you think I should have put it. And if you agree with where I put it eventually, um, it was, it was kind of like a, a hard choice. I didn't know what to do here. Um, I don't know why it was so hard, but like, I liked it there, but I wasn't for sure. I just was not for sure. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, please make sure that you click the links down in the description to head over to the store to find out all the products that I used for this latest release. You guys, it is so amazing. 
literally probably like the best release for masculine cards that I've ever witnessed in my life. Um, make sure that you check out, check me out over on YouTube, over on my own channel. And also uh, check me out on Instagram. Do the same thing for Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for watching this video. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.